Hello, my gemstones. Today, I'm going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, Episode 1, The First Turnabout. Um, I have my friend Muffin on call to make sure that my mic does not stop working in the middle of this video. So, let's see how this goes. Let's start. Gasp, gasp. <laughs> Dang it, why me? I can't get caught, not like this. I've got to find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. I'll make it look like he did it. August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Boy, am I nervous. I'm just going to say I am not going to be voice acting this one because I'm just too tired for that. I might be voice act. I might just do um, actual trying to voice act. Um later on but right now i'm too tired to try that <laughs> um muffin the reason i can't um um a computer sounds to be sounds coming from the computer to be heard so i have to move the call to my phone Yeah, I'm hope I'm looking forward to helping me get OBS um downloaded and set up. Alrighty, now wait, what recording app do you use? Uh, recording app on solo computer. On your computer. OBS. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna continue this. <laughs> yes, you do. Okay. Now to continue. Right. Oh, hi, Achis. Ooh, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you and your client as well. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over. My life, everything, it's all over. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Death, despair, oh. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. <laughs> it sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah. Nick. Hey. Hey there, Larry. <laughs> oh my god! Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell them I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I can't afford to die. I can't- I- Bleh. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. <laughs> what? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I- I'm finished. Finished. I can't- live a life in a world without her. I can't. Who who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Aw, oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death? Newspapers say it was you. <laughs> oh, that ain't good! <laughs> my name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. Yeah, simple. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy le they arrested was un was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Oof. Our school was saying, when something smells, it's usually the butts. In the year 23, in the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, 
It's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. And that and I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do. <clears throat> August 3rd, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defen the um, defense is ready, Your Honor. Ahem. Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Yes, Your Honor. I'm um, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Cindy. Okay. I almost clicked cinder block. <laughs> Oof, that would have been funny. Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Sorry, I stopped reading for a bit there. I got very, um, caught up in the game. Correct. Now, tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was hit with a blunt object. She was struck once by a blunt object. Correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. <laughs> well then, first, a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne? Yes, Your Honor? As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what the that object was? The murder weapon was the statue of the Thinker. It was found laying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts this, it into evidence. Statue added, statue added to the court record. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Use tab to check the court record frequently. Mr. Payne, the pro prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh, oh, Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. What's with that smile, my dude? Ahem, Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra, and Mark Antony. Um, didn't they all die? <laughs> I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me, ever. What's it to you anyway? Mr. Butts, what do you... What you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you, and was seeing other men. 
She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies, all of it lies. I don't believe a word of it. Payne, your honor. Blech. Your honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport added to the court record. The victim apparently arrived home from Paris on 7-3, the day before the murder. Passport added to the court record. <clears throat> hmm. Indeed, she appears to have returned to the day before the murder. Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Oh. <laughs> daddies? Sugar? Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right? I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry was has a way of running his mouth in the wrong directions. Should I... Might be better not to get involved in this one. Well, Mr. Butts? Dude, no way. That cheating she-dog. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah, when I meet her in math class, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is so not looking good. Next question. You weren't went in the victim's apartment the day of the murder, did you not? Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. Uh-oh, he went... What do I do? I know. I'll send him a signal. Er, yeah, yeah. I was there. I went. Order. Well, Mr. Butts? Dude, chill. She wasn't home, man, so, like, I didn't see her. Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body, just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Order. Order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder, witness, the, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit to the stand. Mr. Sawit, you sell newspaper subscriptions, is this correct? Oh, oh, yes, newspapers, yes. Mr. Sawit, you may proceed with your testimony. <clears throat> Please tell the court what you saw the day of the murder. All right, so we have reached 13 minutes, 30, 30 seconds. So I say this is going to be where we call it here, um, as to not accidentally go over time. And, yeah. It's going to oversave that. So that's going to be it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. And yes, I'm filming this video two days in advance. As to avoid, um... As to avoid... I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired and I don't even know why. Um, as to avoid... Um, falling behind on videos... So I'm going to be filming probably multiple videos today. But yeah, that it will be it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.